going to be 19 beautiful, elegant, and athletic racehorses galloping down the track, but only one will come out wearing the garland of roses. Yeah, as you mentioned earlier, we had one scratch mm -hmm. yesterday, King Fury. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some long shots. I always like to take a chance okay. and bet on a long shot because if you do end up winning, you win some good money that way. Pays and off. Eli Gain has, a, he's live at the paddock and he has been taking a look at five horses that you want to really keep your eye on today, right, Eli? Yeah, Chris, you, you mentioned that perfectly. Everyone likes a good underdog type story, or I guess in this case, maybe an under horse story, if that makes any sense. But you, you mentioned it. I mean, what do, you, what do you have to lose? Pay a little bit? Who knows? You can take a big payout in, in that circumstance. But unless you're one of, you know, maybe those people that are tied in with the favorites in the field, you're probably not rooting for that long shot so much. But a lot of people do love seeing an underdog story. Keith Farmer takes a look at some of the long shots in this year's field. But here is Brooklyn Strong up on the outside to challenge. All five of these first Colts we're looking at started in the Derby morning line at 50 to 1. It includes Brooklyn Strong, who has won three times in five career starts, including the Remsen, but he finished fifth in the Wood Memorial heading into the Derby. He breaks from post three. Keep Me In Mind finished second to Derby favorite Essential Quality in both the Breeders' Futurity and the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Then he got his only career win at Churchill Downs in the Kentucky Jockey Club. But he comes to the Derby off a sixth place finish in the Rebel Stakes and a fifth in the Bluegrass. He will line up in the fourth gate. Saint Hood is one of four Derby starters for Todd Pletcher. He only has three lifetime races. Two were allowance and his Derby prep was a second place finish in the Jeff Ruby Stakes. He's locked in to the fifth post. And he finished a runner-up in that race to Like the King, who has finished in the money in all four of his career races. Trained by Wesley Ward, Like the King has only run once at Keeneland and three times at Turfway Park. He will be breaking from the second post. Finally, there's Helium. He's also lightly raced with only three career starts, but he does come into the Derby off a win in the Grade 3 Tampa Bay Derby, where he beat only one other Derby starter, Hidden Stash. Helium will line up in the 12th post for trainer Mark Cassie.